Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Turning gears now to the Fitchburg Senior Center, and we're going to preview all the great things happening with one of my favorite of two social workers at the Fitchburg Senior Center. <laughs> it's Sarah Falkers. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. Glad to have you here. Thanks I'm sorry you've had me. to watch this train wreck for a while, but uh, we're glad to have it's you all right. here. all right. I've had a few laughs. <laughs> Everybody in this department laughs every day uh -huh. at somebody's expense, but that's here or there. Uh, we have a lot of great things happening in the month of April. It's always uh, spring comes and the and the pancake breakfast rolls right into town. And yes. uh, it's this weekend. Uh, real quick here uh, for people who aren't mm -hmm. familiar with it. Uh, you must have been living under a rock if you're not familiar <laughs> with it. <laughs> <laughs> or you're newly moved to Fitchburg. Right. It's the yeah. biggest fundraiser yes. um, that the Friends put on. And, uh, you know, certainly you can see the information on the screen here. It's it's pancakes. Sausage, yep. pancakes. The whole, the whole works. The whole works. What are all the funds go for, for this event? So, like you said, this is our biggest fundraiser. And it's been going on for years and years and years and even more years. And it's very popular. It's delicious pancake breakfast. The funds that are raised, um, the Friends of the Fitchburg Senior Center has a fund which is called the Special Needs Fund. And so the funds that are raised from the pancake breakfast are put into the Special Needs Fund. And we use that, um, Amy and I, so us two super social workers, use, super. Uh, we request money from the Special Needs Fund for people who have um, I mean, it can be anything from needing to fix something on their car and they don't have the ability to pay for that themselves and they need their car to get around, uh, maybe some unexpected dental work, um, an unexpected, just some sort of crisis happens and they don't have enough money to pay their rent, we might be able to help them with a one-time um, one time grant, I guess you would say. Um, we also have, offer scholarships for different programs at the Senior Center. So if there's a program or maybe a day trip that people want to go on but they can't afford it, they can apply for a scholarship and money from the Special Needs Fund will help to pay for that. Yeah, it's super incredible. Again, come on down. Uh, Camaraderie is good. Meet all the staff. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just a fun morning. And as I've said all uh, month long, make sure you get there early, okay? Yes. Because things get uh, busy the later the yes. day uh, goes on. It so, does, yeah. Um, we have been known to run out of certain items towards the end of the breakfast. Not cool. Especially if the fire department comes. <laughs> Guaranteed they're going to be there. We love when they come, but they, you know, a lot of them come and they eat a lot. So. <laughs> <laughs> great, great snap out there, but you like to eat. All right. Uh, uh, turning your attention now to uh, Yoga for Caregivers, a uh, pretty cool uh, uh, program here. Yeah, this is a new program. We've never had this before, um, but we we really like to focus on caregivers. So caregivers that we're focusing on are unpaid family caregivers, um, and it's a stressful it's a stressful thing to go through. So as you can see on the screen, uh, the class is going to be starting May 15th, and it's going to run seven weeks through June 26th. The cost for all seven classes is $35. Um, if you're a caregiver and you're caring for a spouse, a parent, a sibling, a neighbor, um, regularly caregiving for them, um, and you're feeling stressed out, lonely, you have physical discomfort related to caregiving tasks, um, this is a class for you and it's not going to be a traditional yoga class where you go in and do an hour of yoga and then you go out it's going to be a lot of breathing a lot of meditation um, yoga poses also but also um, you know talking about caregiving and what you can do to help yourself when you're a caregiver it's a lot i mean yes um i did when my mom was alive, we did it. My brother mm -hmm. and I are working together doing it with our grandma right now. Yep. Um, it's a lot. It's um, very intensive, and mm -hmm. uh, and it can be very emotional. Yes, yes, it can be. So hopefully people will want to uh, try this class. It's the first, the first pilot class, I guess you would say, in Dane County. So we're hoping that we get a good turnout for that. Absolutely. So you Get can, yourself signed up. Yep. And you can, they can contact me. you directly. They I see it right on there. Contact me. Yeah. Guilty as charged. All right. Yeah. Give her a call. <laughs> uh, I also want to talk about uh, April is Healthcare uh, Decisions Month. And yes. uh, part of uh, your job mm -hmm. uh, is, to, is to help people with this. But uh, what, are we, what are we talking about here? 
So it's just a, a way to get people to realize that it's never too, really never too early to have, a, you know, advanced directives, meaning a power of attorney for health care, power of attorney for finances, um, those kinds of things that once you have a medical crisis and you are unable to make your own decisions, you can't elect somebody to do those for you. So you want to do it ahead of time. Um, they're the state of Wisconsin has simple forms that you can fill out. Um, Amy and I help people fill them out fairly often. Um, we also have a couple of times uh, where we have our patient advocates that are going to be, they're volunteer patient advocates um, who work with some of our clients at the senior center, and they are able to give information about that and help, help with the process. So as you can see, yesterday they were at the senior center. They're also going to be at the pancake breakfast with a table and April 16th from 8.30 to noon. So they'll be on hand to answer people's questions, um, to give forms, um, you know, just talk about the importance of making your final wishes known. Yeah, again, never never too early to, to really, start thinking not, about that. Yeah, and, yeah, there's I, no age where, you know, when you turn 60, you should do it. You and I should do it. I, I was telling you, know, you I'm guilty yeah. as charged. I really need to really have that conversation. Uh, yeah. Uh, with uh, family and, and, and everything else. Well, I appreciate the time. Check out the newsletter. Check out the website. Mm -hmm. Come down and say hi to, the, yes. to everybody. And uh, Sarah, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right, we'll take a quick break. Wrap up the show next. You are watching Talking Fitchburg.